the base at X V gantry. Fit the X C gantry into the slot on the base and lock the gantry on the base with four embedded M5 X25 screws. Hot end installation is for the hot end assembly onto the carriage with the 3 and 3 X6 screws supplied in the kit. Finally, fit the spool holder into the slots on the base. Connect the axis stepper motor. Connect the main cable. Connect the Z-axis and star cable finally. Connect the extruder cable. Fit the protrusion of the cable interface into the slot and turn the fastener to lock the cable in place. Loose or tighten the eccentric mice, X-axis, Y-axis, and Z-axis on the carriages as appropriate using the supplied wrenches. Connect the power cable, power on and wait for your printer to be started. Select temperature, preheat PLA, preheat PLA, to heat the nozzle and heat it a bit. To the normal temperature for printing, so as to make leveling more accurate. Select Motion Corner Leveling to home your printer first and then move it to the first corner. Slide a sheet of a full paper between the nozzle and heated bed. Adjust the height of the heated bed via leveling mice until the full paper can be slid freely between the nozzle and the heated bed with only a small amount of drag. Select Next to proceed to the next point. Repeat the previous step. Making adjustments to one corner can affect the leveling in the other corners, so double or triple check and continue adjusting until each point is correctly leveled. Put filament spool on the spool holder, then insert the filament to the bottom after pulling back the levers. Select Change filament, load filament, to start loading filament. Observe the material. Coming out from the nozzle, and clean up the extruded material. Do not touch the nozzle to prevent burns. Insert the included memory card into the card reader and insert them to your computer. Open it to install the slicing software, how to make a current. Open the software and add your printer select custom custom FF printer enter the print name
artillery, and click at set the X axis, width, and the Y axis, depth, values to 220, and Z axis, height, value to 250. Change the compatible material diameter to 1.75. In the toolbar, click Preferences, Configure Corrupt, Configure File Import. Check the memory card and select three configuration files to be imported. After they are imported successfully, your printer is added. Import an STL model to start slicing. Watch the video for details. Export the code file to the memory card and get ready for printing. Insert the memory card into your printer and select the file to be printed. The wait for print. In after a printing. Wait until the heated print bed completely cools down to room temperature, and the printed model will automatically release from the bed.